observing trades owners, there seems to be three types of owners that are like master, their their businesses, uh, they have ma master craftsmen, right? So high-end residential trades, uh, all my friends, right? It seems like there's there's you fit in one of three categories. You're a master craftsman and you own your own business and you're fine, you're good, you, you're happy with your business, you're good. Then there's, there's friends of mine that are master craftsmen and they're trying to build infrastructure around their business. So they, they're physically uh, master craftsmen and the second thing they're trying to do is build a business infrastructure. It's damn hard, but, but a lot of you guys fit in that category. The third type is somebody that actually wants, I say actually, the third type is that they are likely a master craftsman, they likely have built an infrastructure, and they're likely, like, like people like uh, Rick Boyle and Rick Meyer and, and Ryan Beal, they're likely trying to, or they're, they have built, in Rick Boyle's case, they've built a business that they're master craftsmen, but they've actually built a business infrastructure where they're the president president and CEO of the company, whatever, whatever title they give themselves, they're working on it, not in it, right? And there's nothing wrong with any of those three businesses, by the way. So whatever business you want to build, good for you. And you can change your mind. So, but it, but it does seem like they all fit in one of those three categories, right? They're a master craftsman and they're good, right? They're good. They're good. They're, they're good being a master craftsman and they're good with their business. Then there's others that are like, I want to build an infrastructure and I want to be a master craftsman. John Fricky's a guy that comes to mind. He's like, Jerry, I still enjoy going into the field and working alongside the guys sometimes. And he still built a business infrastructure around him. And then there's others like Rick Boyle that have gone through all three of those iterations. And now they spend arguably their time working on it instead of in it. Nothing wrong with any of those three, but I think it's important to recognize where you're at and where you're going, and then what tools do you need in your tool belt to get to the next that next spot if you wanna to move to the, that next spot. And again, it's not a better spot, it's a different spot and requires a different set of tools.